Good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to another action-packed episode of Outside and Stuff uh, with your host, Nick, and compatriot. Jane. <laughs> Oh, I was supposed to introduce myself. Yeah. Oh. Today we are out here at Wallace Falls. The weather is not that great, so this is one of my favorite hikes to go to when it's either raining or cloudy. Uh, it is Sunday. We did get here right at 8 a.m., and as you can see, the parking lot is already filling up. But uh, enough about the logistics here. Jen, tell us all about this hike. So Wallace Falls is actually a very high uh, reward for effort ratio. It's a shorter hike. It's about 1,300 feet elevation gain, mm. 5.8 miles round trip. But... Uh, it's all to a fall. A well, there's fall. a lower fall, Wallace Falls, and then upper Wallace, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it's, how big of a waterfall is that? It's a huge waterfall. It's about, uh, it, all, all told, the three tiers is um, 360 plus feet. The largest of them, which is Wallace Falls, mm -hmm. is a full like 265 foot drop. So it's actually pretty significant. Whoa. And what did you say it was? 150 cubic feet of water per second? Yes. There's wow. a lot of water. Coming There's a out. whole lot of water coming out of that dang old fall. All right. Well, enough chit chat and let's go on the trail. Let's do it. All right. So, when you come up to this sign, make sure you take the woody trail and not the railroad grade. The railroad grade is going to take you up and around into the lake. You don't want to go there. So, by all means necessary, every time you come to a split, just hang right, hang right, and hang right, and then you'll be uh, at the falls. Let's go. So Wallace Falls holds a uh, special place in my heart, and that's because uh, this is actually the first hike I went on when I moved to Seattle. And uh, I was all alone at the time. It was pouring rain. Um, I was practically the only one here, and I brought my camera and my tripod, and I did a lot of photography back then. So it's nice to kind of return, you know, see it in a different light. Now it's all full of vegetation. There's huckleberries, thimbleberries, salmon berries. And uh, yeah, bring some friends along. Times have changed. You do water for like five days. What do you think so far, Jen? Uh, there's a nice viewpoint. <laughs> Got a bottle, Jen. That's the way we're going. What are you doing? 
exploring. There's a little side trail, which you just took, but it's cool. It's, if it were a hot day, it would be awesome to come down here and like eat some berries, dip your feet in the water. Salmonberry. Salmonberry gen. Yum. Good. Ooh. So it took us 45 minutes, 45 minutes to get here. And we're at the Lower Falls, which is, there's like this stairway that you can go down with multiple viewpoints and it's really cool. Uh, the water is almost overpowering, it's super loud. So uh, there you go. <laughs> so there's these stairs that you can go down and you have two viewpoints. And this is the lower viewpoint for the Lower Falls and up there there's an upper viewpoint. You actually see the whole spill of the uh, middle falls, I guess, up there. So it's cool and it's easy to get to. Even if this is all you want to do, like it's a good viewpoint, you can turn around and go home from here if you want. But don't. Go, go ahead. <laughs> so far, the hike has been uh, pretty awesome. As you can see, the first good view of the falls right here. Uh, it's a relatively mellow hike to get to the lower falls. It gets considerably steeper for the last uh, two thirds of the way up. But so far it's nice. All the hikers out here are nice and friendly. During the summer when it's hot and there's a lot more people on the trail, this park gets really crowded. A lot of people have a lunch with their kids and it's not as fun. But once you get past the lower falls, it becomes more people who are actually going for the hike part of it. And what do you think? Don't be shy. You don't have to be a professional hiker to do this one. It's nice and mellow. Anyone can do it. Ah, oh, this is my favorite part. The falls are also my favorite part. Being outside is my favorite part. Bringing these videos to you is my favorite part. So it only took us an hour to get here, and uh, this is the middle falls. How, how tall are them falls? Them falls, 265 feet tall. 265 feet, data Very computed. Tall. I am the fall machine. Fall. What do you think? So this is the uh, upper part of the middle falls, I guess. And if you didn't think that the falls were impressive from down there, you should come up here and look down because you really get a sense of the scale of the drop. It's a long way.
All right, let's go to the upper, upper falls, as they like to say. Here falls. All right, we made it. This is the upper falls. Uh, and if you didn't get enough falls, that's too bad because this is all the falls this place has for you. It took us about an hour and a half to get up here. Super easy hike, about 1,200 feet. Um, again, lots of falls along the way. Jen, what'd you think? It was good. It was good. Jen approved. How about y'all? A little bit of difficulty at the end, but it's worth it at the top. Yeah, it gets steeper of that last little bit, but uh, it's no problem. All right, well, that's it for this episode of Outside and Stuff. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we're going to leave you with a falling shot of the... Oh, I almost caught him. Falls. See you. <laughs> At hey, the next trailhead. At the next trailhead. All right. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> there you go.